Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, recently I wrote an article on breast refusal and the article was published on the Pa and Ma uh, web page, yeah, web page, Facebook as well as web page. And uh, the article was actually in Malay, but I thought of doing an English version of the same topic, but in a video form. Alright, so let's talk about breast refusal. Um, so what does it mean? It means that the baby just refused to breastfeed. Right? So it can happen even from birth and even like for example baby has been has been breastfeeding like very well for the next few months and after that just decide to not breastfeed. Okay, so before we uh, learn about what to do when that happens, we need to know why it is happening. Alright. So when it happens at birth, meaning the baby just refused to latch or breastfeed, it can be due to a few causes. For example, like if let's say the mother has been uh, given given certain drugs, like um, she was on a GA or she was on epidural or she was given some painkillers, for example, like Pethidin. So those drugs can actually cross to the baby, uh, even before the baby is delivered and cause the baby to be sleepy and just uh, unable to latch, right? Next, maybe the baby has been separated from the mother and from birth and there was no skin-to-skin -skin contact and uh, that's why the baby is just having a bit of time to latch on the mother. For example, if the baby needs to be admitted for some reason, like the baby uh, was having a weak cry or having some difficulty in breathing, requiring some admission to an ICU. So next, maybe the baby itself is having some problems with mouth, like maybe the baby is having um, cleft palate or maybe tongue tie that may or may not disrupt breastfeeding. Others, maybe the baby is having some other problems like maybe the thyroid hormone level is low or the baby is having some tone problem like having Down syndrome or maybe the baby is having low blood sugar. So uh, these are the potential causes that the baby is unable to latch properly. Others, maybe like um, baby is having latching problems because the mother's breast is too engorged. So the mother's nipple can be like um, a bit flat and uh, some like uh, yeah flat and the skin is a bit stretched so baby is unable to uh, latch properly so um, these these causes are usually temporary this is what i usually tell the mothers and uh, with the right um, advice and supervision and help uh, mothers are usually able to breastfeed after that um, but needs a little bit of patience right Okay, so what about if let's say the baby is able to breastfeed for months and then just decide to just um, not breastfeed after that. Baby seems like it's refusing, squirming more, you know, just refuse to take the breast. So there are a few other causes, right? And um, this, this uh, breast refusal or nursing strike, we call it, um, can be due to certain things. For example, like um, there is a problem with the mother's flow. Okay, so the mother's flow could be either be too fast or even too slow. Okay, so if the mother's uh, flow is too fast or maybe fast or maybe the letdown reflex is just too fast, then baby can just be scared or even choke. So baby can refuse at that time. Or sometimes the milk supply of the mother is too slow and the flow is too slow. So after a while, baby uh, loses uh, its patience. Others maybe there is an altered taste in the mother's breast milk. For example, if let's say the mother is taking uh, some medications or the baby mother is, ha is uh, pregnant or uh, having her menses and um, in fact, if the mother is having breast infection which is called mastitis, secondary to the breast encroachment, then mastitis itself um, can cause the, the breast milk to be a little bit salty than usual. Why salty? Because the sodium and the chloride level is a bit higher um, compared to during normal days. We still encourage the baby to breastfeed as usual uh, even if the mother is having mastitis. Other causes uh, maybe because of the baby itself you know because from there's something in the mouth so um, usually we can always inspect the baby's mouth to see whether there's any um, candidiasis or uh, fungal infection or yeast infection in the mouth that's very common sometimes the baby uh, can have some um, ulcer in the mouth as well so and uh, for bigger babies maybe they are teething so these are the potential causes that baby is having some pain so um, unable to latch and suck properly 
Others maybe uh, the baby is also not well. For example, like is having a stuffy nose, runny nose. So because babies they breathe through the mouth to the from the nose. So when there is trouble in uh, breathing, so baby is unable to suck properly as well. Others uh, maybe the baby is having some uh, reflux problem, or maybe the baby is having ear infection. So those can cause some discomfort to the baby as well. So um, other causes, maybe the baby has been given any artificial teats or pacifiers, so that will be uh, that will cause some nipple confusion to the baby. So that's why the baby is unable to latch as well. Sometimes the baby is also sensitive to the mother's uh, smell, like um, for example, if the mother has applied. A new lotion or using a new body soap on herself or even spray some perfume on her chest so the baby is unable to recognize the mother's natural smell and uh, when the baby is smelling this new sense of perfume then baby tend to um, uh, refuse breastfeeding as well and uh, other causes maybe the baby has uh, needs to be um, getting used to a new routine for example like mother just went to work or uh, mother just move house so certain uh, change in routine also can cause um, baby to refuse temporarily um, others uh, which i see more commonly is that when the baby is much bigger for example maybe around six months or nine months of age when they are more uh, curious with the surroundings right so because they are older so they are easily distracted like when they hear a noise when they have some certain things going around so they will be distracted so they seem like they don't want to breastfeed when actually they are just um, curious with their surroundings okay and then uh, lastly if let's say the baby um, the, the baby has got a certain phobia yeah meaning for example like the mother has been bitten before because the baby has got teeth so the the mother has been bitten before so the mother shows this fear or startle response so because of that baby like feel like they're a bit scared to breastfeed uh, after that because they, they are worried with the mother's previous reaction before all right so these are just some of the causes of uh, breast refusal so in my next video inshallah i'll try to share some tips on um, how to overcome these uh, problems okay so that's all bye bye